Come on, let's go. Come on, Fred. Yo! What up? Welcome back to another. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Come on, go. Inside, inside. Whew. Yeah. We're going to have to do this video in the lodge, y'all. There is no other way to do it. How is it going? And welcome back to the lodge. But honestly, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, where should we sit? I got a lot to talk about. Um, there has been... This has been a deal. Frederick, his hips, his health, accidents, um, and now guiding so much. So we have a lot going on there. Uh, a lot of people want to know about the new dog. A lot of you knew I bought a new dog. I put it on, I think, yeah, I put it on my TikTok. My TikTok has been exploding. I can't believe it. I, I never liked TikTok until now, but they are, I am now on an account warning uh, uh, on both TikTok and Instagram, and I have not done a darn thing wrong. I showed uh, the mounts up here. I put two new mounts up. So these two, I showed that. TikTok like banned me for like three days just by showing dead animals. Like, are you serious? But whatever. Anyways, yeah, on Instagram, I can't look at it. I can't see anybody's stories. Where, you, where your circles are, where stories usually are, it's just blank. It's like they banned me from doing a bunch of stuff. So not looking good. Two ways that you can support me before we get going. Actually, three ways how you can support me. Number one, a lot of people want to know when the Ducks shoes are available. July 14th, if you want to get them two days earlier, download the Ducks app and you can order them on the Ducks app July 12th. Use code Bob at checkout to save some money and to help your brother out. That's number one. Number two, we're booking hunts. We have availability, especially in November. Duck dates available, duck and goose combos. If you're interested, any group size, two to 14, get a hold of me by filling out the inquire to book form uh, on the Sand Hill website. The Sand Hill website is linked down below. Three and four. So four ways to help your brother out in these hard times because YouTube is what it is. Number one, subscribe to my podcast. It's on Patreon. It's always linked down below. And my Uncut Outdoors page. Um, both of those. Other videos, other content that you don't have here are going over there. Our podcast is rocking right now. Whew. All right, let's get going. The dog. So Fred has hip dysplasia. Um, it became apparent, uh, you know, two years ago, a year and a half ago. I would say a year and a half ago. And um, he just started limping really bad. Uh, the beginning of last year, he started limping. Oh no, the beginning of two years ago, two seasons ago, right, Freddie? Hi, big guy. Hi. He started limping. We took him in. It was declared hip dysplasia. Broke my heart. Well, he's hunted here and there since then and did really good. We went on a pigeon hunt. He had an episode where he had either a seizure or a stroke. Um, and. Again, just his health. Um, his hips bother him so bad that when he walks, he waddles. Um, kind of walks like a horse would almost. Um, he doesn't, he's not really agile on his rear end. And with that being said, that makes him um, right now so vulnerable to just break his rear end apart. Because Fred, as you know, as you can see, good boy, come here, Fred. Hey, come here. He is a big, big dog and he's very strong. He has a lot of muscle and he is extremely powerful. Being um, as old as he is, which he's not even four yet, coming up on four in a few months, um, he's got a ton of power. Look at his shoulders. I mean, he is ripped. He really is. And during season, hey Fred, hi dear buddy. During season, um, he's really ripped. He's on a good diet. And everything else so what I'm getting at is um, he's so powerful that he will in fact dismantle himself um, I don't like even showing look at him um, I tried to show you walking come on friend see if you can see him limp. come here come on let's go let's go let's go good boy see that when he, that left paw comes down come on come on let's go let's go let's go let's go come on sit Good. See, he's still a good boy. He listens. He always listens. Good. Come here. I'm a good boy. I love you, buddy. He's going to be heartbroken. I mean it. He has no idea. He's already heartbroken uh, due to the fact that he lost his brother. Um, 
very heartbroken. See that lamp? Look at that lamp. Sometimes it is so bad. Like that's really not too bad. Sometimes it's so bad. I'm like, poor guy. Come on, heal. Let's go. Good. He's, he does want to work. He's a working dog. He just wants to listen and make dad happy all the time. He does. He's a good boy. Um, had to put his brother down, Jax. Uh, the black uh, bully that I've had. Um, me and my wife have had Jax for 12 years. Right, almost, right, I mean, 11, I'd say 11 years. Um, but I had to put him down, and that was last week, and that was so tough for me. Last week was horrible. I, I haven't been that emotional in years. I don't remember the last time I was that messed up for a while. So um, it's in my best interest uh, to keep Freddie healthy and so that he can have a longer life um, than just maybe five or six years, you know, because at this rate, I am going to dismantle him. He goes and picks up a thousand birds a season or 1500 or whatever it is with all the pigeons and ducks and geese and all that. Um, every time he rips out hard stop and he's limping, he's hurting afterwards. So I have bought a new dog to save Freddie's life, honestly. And for a couple reasons, um, I don't need a new pet. I do not need a house dog. I do not need a pet. I do not need a new friend. I do not, we as a family do not need a new dog. In fact, we do not need one. In fact, what I do need uh, is a tool. And what I mean by that is these guided duck and goose hunts that we do, there's no way that you can do them without a dog. Um, when it's 50, 40, 30, 20 birds, deep water, um, uh, just tall corn stalks, stuff like that, you have to have a dog. Um, a human can't go do all that work every single day. Um, so I need a tool, and um, that means I need a trained dog. With it being now July, what, 6th? Yeah, July 6th. Uh, basically, I have one, two, three months pretty much before my guide season with clients here start. And that means I can't, I don't have the time to go buy a puppy or a six month old or something like that and train it and be ready for October, late October, November, right? There's no, there's not the amount, allotted amount of time there. And that's stressful to me because, um, I love buying puppies and send, sending them to, you know, that I was wanting to buy, you know, a puppy eventually, you know, maybe this year, next year, um, and then send it to training and, you know, that deal. But I'm pretty much, I mean, honestly, forced to buy a finished dog. Now, let's get into that. Um, it's going to be hell on Frederick. Uh, I'm going to do everything in my power to keep separation. Um, Especially like back here, Fred seeing that other dog. The new the the name of the new dog is Judge. So he is 15 months old. He comes from Springfield, Missouri. Um, actually, Preston, y'all know P Diddy. Uh, he just bought a black little male puppy from the same guy, and he recommended me to him. And he has still has available the other Finnish dog, which is out of the same litter as Judge. But he's a black dog, not a yellow dog. Here's Judge right here, by the way. Here in a minute, I'll play a bunch of videos over Judge. Um, actually, let's play a few right now. <laughs> Judge. Good. Good dog.
Come on, Mike. So, 15 months, um, I don't know what videos I used on there, but he is on a whistle and definitely he will stop on a whistle um, on a blind and take hand signals. Um, so no more guided hunts or videos where I'm going, Fred, here, Fred. You don't understand how much of that I actually do cut out of the videos um, because it gets, it gets sick of me. I, I get sick of myself yelling yelling Fred here, Fred here, and not having that whistle. And he's just out there shopping or doing whatever. So um, Fred's an, an amazing hunting dog. He has retrieved thousands upon thousands of birds in his um, three years of hunting. So get, moving on to Judge, um, he is an athlete, a purebred dog. Uh, this kennel in particular, like I said, I will link Scott uh, being the breeder and trainer. So he breeds these dogs. He does not buy and train then resell. He doesn't do that. He breeds his own dogs, trains them and sells them. He has been doing this his whole life and he is, he does upland as well, but he specializes in waterfowl dogs um, because he is at heart hey, hey, hey. a diehard duck hunter. So. It was just uh, a perfect matchup for me and him to work together and uh, for me to just, you know, find someone who has paperwork on him, who is like 100% guaranteed hips, heart, blood, everything guaranteed. Hey. So he's been tested already as hips and everything, tried and true. So we have a healthy dog uh, that should be able to hunt for, like he said, he was like, most of my dogs will, you can hunt them till they're nine years old, 10 years old, eight years old and I'm like, holy smokes. He was like, now, you know, judge being with you that many retrieves, maybe it's seven or eight years that he's hunting. But he was like, all my dogs live to 10 or 11, Bobby, or, or better, you know? And I'm like, that's awesome, you know, cause labs do um, have a lot of issues. They are very subject to hip and heart, all these different disorders. So we got us a healthy dog that is highly trained. Here are some more videos. Hey, good dog. Good dog. You figured it out. Good. Had a boy. Had a boy, Judge. One pretty. Good. Good. Had a boy.
Judge. All right, so we're trying a big boy bird here. This is 168 yards. Went a little deep. See how he works it out. I believe we have contact. Good dog. We're not really worried about the memory bird, but. Boy, Judge. Heel. Sit. Yeah, uh, I'm ready for him. He's not as old, so he's only, he is a little more than half the age, so he's probably, I don't know, what would that be, a year and a half, a year and nine months, I don't know. Difference in a, almost two years difference. Yeah. Than Fred. And so he's a lot younger. And, um, man, I'm excited. Um, not to not have Fred with me. I'm still going to take Fred on really small duck hunts when, like, it's a solo duck hunt and I shoot, you know, six or four. That's not bad. He could four retrieves or even a two man, you shoot six, eight, ten birds. That's not bad on a little pond or the river. That's fine. Um, and he'll, I'm going to keep him fresh. He, he can still do those things. But big hunts, big decoy spreads. Lots of birds every single day hunting. He can't do it. You know, I'm going to end up, what, what happens, I'm going to end up disabling Fred so he won't even be able to get up and go eat or go out, you know, go outside to, to use, you know, to go potty or, or poop. So uh, if I disable him, what do you got to do? You got to put him down. And I do not want to do that again. I did that last week to my old dog, like I had said. And that, that would be so rough. I, I can't imagine. So I just want to uh, get ahead of it. And uh, because I love my dog. He, first and foremost, he is, he is in fact a family dog. He needs to be a lodge dog, a family dog, at the office with mom, being my wife. You know, so he is loved dearly. You know, he doesn't deserve... He doesn't deserve, he deserves to hunt. And we all know how bad he wants to hunt, but he doesn't deserve to, um, to die earlier than he should. That's my biggest thing. And um, that, I think that at the end of the day, I've, I've kind of swallowed the fact that that's just being a good owner of your pet and looking out for him. That's all. So obviously we're going to get some additional positives out of it with now having a highly trained dog that has good health um, that can be my tool um, that can be, be be very reliable and uh, on a whistle now no more yelling stuff like that i'll have to keep up on the training which i'm fully fully aware of that um, but uh, freddy rico won't be on every single hunt anymore you know and that's uh, having him this long man that's a that's a hard pill i've had to swallow like i said scott is a great guy uh very personable loves to talk if you guys want to uh if any of you are interested in a finished dog like this this black one that i showed you or getting a puppy from his litters anything or just sending your dog to go get trained he does it all uh give him a call i will link his uh information down below please guys serious inquires only um, do not hassle him. Um, if you're not interested, what? don't call. He is an older gentleman and he would, he would not be appreciative of people just making fools and calling for no reason. So if you are interested, look into it. He has availability on puppies. I hope that I, uh, really explained everything well enough. I'll be down in the comment section on this video because this is a very important video to me. Um, as I'm sure that you all know, this is my life. This is what I do. You guys, this, all these other things, uh, and my dog. Uh, thank you all for being here. I'm done babbling. Um, stay, fa stay, stay safe, stay cool out there. The season's coming.